Because the news never stops. Get the facts. And neither do we. 1480 WHBC and WHBC.com. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, Paul White. Good morning and welcome to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I'm your pharmacist, Paul White. We're glad you joined us this morning. Before we begin, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Mercy Medical Center, Studio Arts and Glass, and of course our socially distant technical producer, J.D. DeAngelis. This morning, I'm joined by Brad White, compound pharmacist and vice president of the Medicine Center Pharmacy, and our special guest, Dr. Kaya Ramaya, a gynecologist and robotic surgeon at Total Women's Care. Good morning, Dr. Ramaya. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Brad. Good morning. Studies show that somewhere between 25% and 45% of postmenopausal women find sex painful. Estrogen, the primary female sex hormone, regulates your reproductive system. Before menopause, estrogen helps maintain the thickness and elasticity of your vaginal tissues. However, as you age, your estrogen levels drop, causing changes in these tissues. When vaginal tissue grows too thin, sexual activity can become painful. Our topic today is women's health with a focus on the Mona Lisa Touch, a promising and exciting hormone-free treatment. We'd like to remind our listeners that today's program is going to be available on our podcast. You can find that in the App Store on your smartphone. Just search for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy, and you can subscribe and download our programs. So, Doctor, please introduce yourself again. You've been on the show before, and tell us about your practice. Yes. Um, well, um, you know, we at Total Women's Care have been providing women's health services for over two decades now. Um, I trained and did my OBGYN residency at Altman Hospital and then decided to stay on in the area. Uh, I've since raised, gotten married and raised a family as well. Um, now, over the last uh, few years, I've been focusing mainly on GYN care. Um, I'm also, um, I also teach residents and medical students at Altman Hospital. Um, I'm a clinical associate professor at the local medical school, and I practice both out of Altman Hospital and Mercy Medical Center. So what's different about the way you practice medicine? Excellent question, Paul. Um, So we pride ourselves in um, the care for women by women. We provide a customized medical care, which is cutting edge, compassionate, and comprehensive. Um, each one that comes in to our office is treated like an individual that is different from the rest, and they're, they're considered part of the team where we, along with the patient, focus on providing not just treatments, but Also, you know, preventive care, which I feel is kind of lost in the struggle now where modern medicine is more, has become more about treating illnesses versus uh, preventing. And so a lot of my focus is also on actually maintaining or preventing disease uh, in addition to treating disease. So what is alternative? alternative medicine and how do you incorporate that into the practice? Surely. So, Paul, as you know, I um, grew up in India and so, you know, I was raised around a lot of natural health remedies, you know, Ayurvedic medicine, yoga, etc. And, um, you know, that all went by the wayside when I started medical school and then residency, etc. But after years of practicing, I realized there was something missing about allopathic medicine, which is what I trained to be uh, become uh, to be proficient in. And so I went looking for answers, especially for chronic conditions, a lot of women's health issues. Not everything is treated by giving you a prescription, you know. So I went around and looked, did some research. And so now I feel that um, in my practice, I use a combination of allopathic medicine as well as alternative or herbal medicine. And there's a little dash of Ayurveda in there as well. So, you know, we we kind of focus on, okay, what is the best way to provide uh, solutions for individual issues for that particular person? 
you know, we've gone through a period, or maybe we're still in a period, I don't know, in healthcare where when you go to a doctor, you expect a prescription, okay? Or give me this, or give me an antibiotic because I have a cold, you know, something exactly. like that. Exactly. So, so how, do, how does your patient base? Uh, I'm sorry? How does your patient base look at this? I'm not, you know, you don't need a prescription. No, you fortunately, know. I think women are very, very open to this, and a lot of them come in because I'm not giving them a prescription right out at the outset. Don't get me wrong, you know, prescriptions, um, allopathic medicines have their role, and I do think that we cannot ignore their importance, but I feel like a lot of times we, we forget about the simple things we can do without resorting to those prescriptions right at the outset. Sure. Okay. I understand that you are a bioidentical hormone therapy specialist. Can you explain that to our listeners? So, um, you know, in keeping with this this idea that Paul brought up, you know, give me a prescription kind of uh, culture, um, I think we have to realize also that not everybody falls into one peg. You know, there's so many different options, choices available that I think we, in allopathic medicine, we forget that there is an individual behind that. And so I think that... Um, we always have to keep our um, options open and saying, okay, what works best for this person? And unfortunately, there's only so many choices available uh, in terms of prescriptions for uh, hormones. And so, um, you know, thanks to uh, practitioners like yourself, Brad, you know, it's been very, very helpful where we can reach out to our pharmacist colleagues and say, you know what, the traditional allopathic prescriptions are not working for so-and-so. What options do we have? And fortunately, you can provide us those individual customized solutions for the different hormones, be it estrogen, testosterone, you know, what have you. Um, and I think that being in the field with you, I think together, it's a great win-win combination. Yeah, for our listeners that maybe don't understand what a compounded medication is or a, a customized solution, you know, it's not unlike other solutions you might have from <clears throat> maybe custom windows put in your house because all the window openings are different. It's, it's you know, you can get um, many FDA-approved medications in custom dosage forms. So, for example, like uh, Dr. Ramai mentioned, maybe, um, maybe the 10-milligram tablet that big box manufacturer makes is too much for you, um, or maybe it needs to be 11 and a quarter milligrams. Rather than you having to break tablets and take quarters of tablets and things like that, we can prepare a capsule or a tablet or a lozenge or a number of different dosage forms to help you get that custom dose your doctor feels you need. Um, we can provide a variety of services for patients across the spectrum from people to even pets. Um, it's not uncommon for us to help patients at um, like the children's hospital who have seizure disorders and can't swallow tablets and they need a suspension. Um, and it's, you know, we've, we can make a lot of interesting dosage forms to help patients, whether they are um, two years old or 102 years old. So it, it is very helpful to be able to customize those doses. Uh, we're proud to be one of the first two accredited, uh, nationally accredited compounding pharmacies in the state of Ohio. And um, it helps us keep us on our toes to not only prepare high quality products, but uh, we have a lot of uh, quality control that goes into that process so you can have confidence that working with your physician, the three of us between the patient and the pharmacy and the provider, we can help you find a solution that can really help solve your problem if you've tried things that just don't seem to make that need, meet that need. So, doctor, um, how do you, um, you know, you kind of touched on it. Are there any other things that you like to use custom dosage forms or custom compounded medications for to help patients that just can't be met commercially? I think that you've raised a very important uh, issue uh, for patients, and it's not just with hormone therapy. I'm talking about other medications, especially pain medications or um, neuropathic medications, um, and I think it's important to work very closely with um, the co your compounding pharmacist who is knowledgeable and can provide uh, very, very important information to keep the patient safe 
And in fact, um, you know, most people that know about bioidentical hormone therapy, which is basically estrogen, progesterone, um, testosterone, cortisol, etc. But I, I also use different compounded medications for chronic vulvitis, for bladder incontinence, um, for recurrent um, herpes. You know, numerous things can be used where you don't have to utilize oral therapy or um, you know, formulated allopathic therapies, which can have their own side effects. And so like Brad, like Brad mentioned, we can actually uh, cater it or fine tune it to your individual needs where I can get a combination of a, um, you know, some local anesthetic medication along with a pain medicine, medication along with a nerve uh, modulating medication, which you can put locally in the area that's affected and, you know, eliminate it almost completely all the systemic side effects. So I think it's a win-win. I think so too. And I, I do want to kind of take a political jab here, if you don't mind, because for the women listening that benefit from bioidentical hormones or for any patient who's listening today that wants to be able to have their provider help them with any solution out there, um, it's important that you know that bioidentical hormone therapy is under attack by the FDA. And right this moment, there are documents on the table that if the FDA passes, every woman and man in this country will lose the benefit of being able to have those customized compounded therapies. So just, uh, I encourage you to remind your elected, fish, elected officials who they work for. They work for you. So it's important that you uh, share your views with your providers and your politicians because everyone pay, every patient should have a right to access health care in the fashion that is best suited to treat them. So please keep that in mind. It's very important. If I would you have like questions, to... yeah, if you have questions, please contact me at the pharmacy um, or, or hit up our website for info and I can share that info. But um, there's some pretty... You know, there's powerful lobbyist groups in Washington, and unfortunately, self-interest groups are running amok. So carry, carry on, doctor. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I think that um, uh, compounding um, has fallen uh, out of grace, mainly because there are people that are utilizing it as additional sources of revenue versus actually understanding the pros and the cons and the risks and the benefits and using it appropriately in appropriate situations and the appropriate amounts. And I think that's where going to somebody that's knowledgeable, be it a pharmacist or be it a physician, I think that's important in using these medications judiciously. I've had numerous patients that have come to me from other providers because they are having side effects from these hormones being prescribed just ubiquitously or without any real understanding of the basis and how to use it safely. And I think that's where the FDA kind of um, came in and said, well, what's going on here, you know? And unfortunately, as pharmacists and physicians, uh, we need to be more aware and vigilant on making sure you're using these appropriately. It's kind of like playing with fire. You really need to use it wisely. You do. And unfortunately, it is a case where a few bad apples are really spoiling it for the bunch. So. Right. Okay, doctor, we're going to take a break here. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. From 1976 to the new year, 2020, we've been part of the Canton community. This year, we celebrate 44 years of service. Thank you for your business and continued support of the Medicine Center Pharmacies. A lot has changed in the pharmacy world over the past 44 years, but one thing hasn't, our commitment to your health. Stop by your local Medicine Center Pharmacy in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, or New Philadelphia, where wellness begins. 
Mercy Medical Center wants you to know we are here for you literally and virtually. For our patient safety, Mercy is providing virtual doctor appointments from the comfort of your home. This service is available for staff care, urgent care, seven days a week, and Mercy Primary Care Monday through Friday. See our website at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth for office and appointment hours. Mercy Telehealth visits are simple, convenient, and can be used by anyone who has access to a smartphone, tablet, or computer. Our Mercy representatives are ready and happy to assist you. So, whether you are in need of urgent care for minor illnesses and injuries or would like a one-on-one with a Mercy primary care physician, Mercy is here for you. Mercy Medical Center telehealth appointments. Learn more at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth. That's cantonmercy.org slash telehealth. Online appointments are considered medical services and will be billed to your insurance co-pays and deductibles apply. Is CBD oil right for you? That may seem like a simple question, but the answers don't come from a convenience food store or a mall kiosk. Your medicine center pharmacist is the most accessible healthcare professional. Our pharmacists have been trained to provide expert CBD oil information to tailor therapies like CBD capsules, tinctures, lotions, and ointments to your particular need. We have the highest quality, organic, Colorado-grown, non-GMO, full-spectrum CBD oil products. Visit the medicine center pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, or New Philadelphia. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. In these difficult times, please stay calm and make sure your medical and healthcare supplies are well stocked. Have Kleenex, pain relievers, fever reducers such as Tylenol and cough syrup like Robitussin, Dayquil, cough drops, and maybe a humidifier. And make sure you take a good multivitamin like Linus Pauling Super Multivitamins. Also, you might get a good probiotic and make sure that you get plenty of rest and plenty of nutritious food. The Medicine Center Pharmacy in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, Paul White. Welcome back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Brad and I are talking with Dr. Ramaya, gynecologist and robotic surgeon from Total Women's Care. I think we're ready to talk about the Mona Lisa Touch. So I'm really excited um, about this uh, novel procedure, which even though it's been around now for about uh, eight, nine years, it's still not very familiar amongst um, the the public. And um, I'm really excited to talk about it because I think it's one of the, um, probably a, it's a game changer is what I would call it, for lack of a better word. Um, it's basically an in-office, hormone-free, chemical-free procedure. It takes about five minutes a session that um, helps increase the vaginal, vulvovaginal, and lower bladder elasticity that is lost because of menopause, as Brad was talking about earlier. And it's especially useful for women who cannot use hormones or choose not to use hormones. This is an excellent alternative. So what is the history of Mona Lisa Touch and and what what are the benefits? It's interesting. About uh, about 10 years ago, um, a couple of gynecologists in Italy actually um, thought about this and set about trying to figure out how to use it. And at that time, it was still in its nascency. Nobody knew about the safety, efficacy, et cetera. Uh, But they realized this was working really well. So they reached out to a nationally renowned urogynecologist in in Canton, actually in Ohio, Dr. Mickey Karam. And Dr. Karam was intrigued enough that he actually flew over to Italy, stayed there a couple of months, tried to gather more information about this. And of course, you know, in the U.S., we always look for scientific data, and we just don't, you know, do something just because. So he came back here, and he set about uh, creating some of the most elegant clinical trials. He, he joined forces with another physician out on the West Coast, and they went about um, actually uh, figuring out what is the most appropriate, um, you know, uh, way to do this in terms of the power, watts, you know, laser machines are not 
um, it's not like child's play. And so they went about strategizing and figuring out what would be the safest way to use this with the maximum benefit. And so they've actually standardized this right now. And I had the, um, I had the good fortune to actually go and train with Dr. Karam. And it's just, I cannot explain how unbelievably amazing the results are. And until Mona Lisa touched, especially for my younger breast cancer patients, I did not have anything else to offer them. And they were basically cripples. Uh, and so with this, it's been quite, um, quite life-changing, literally, for myself as well as for patients, because now I have something I can offer them. And this Mona Lisa touch is a laser procedure. It's actually a medical procedure. This is not a plastic surgery. And uh, the uh, FDA has mandated that this machine be sold only to gynecologists so that it is not misused and converted into a, a plastic procedure. This is a medical procedure filling a very, very, very important need. So, so how many physicians are doing this? Or? So in this, in this area, there are probably a, a couple of them doing it. But the problem is I don't think there's enough education out there. There's enough information that is being important. You know, there's so much information about breast cancer, breast cancer treatments, um, you know, uh, Viagra, but not too much about um, this procedure, especially because it, imp it impacts women so powerfully. I think there is a little bit of a gender bias there, if you will. Um, but I won't get on my soapbox. <laughs> but I think that um, it's, it's fulfilling a very, very uh, important void. Would you say that, that America is first in women's health, or are there, uh, is there another country or other countries in the world that are more progressive than we are? I think that we are pretty cutting edge when it comes to medical treatments. I think, though, in terms of alternative or para-allopathic treatments, I think we are a step behind uh, compared to our uh, European colleagues. Um, I think um, uh, there is not as much, um, how should I say, um, uh, restrictions, I would say. You know, the, uh, our FDA is, and they have their reasons for being more circumspect, for being more um, careful. Um, but I think there's a lot of politics that goes in there with the FDA as well. Um, so I don't think, I think we're a step behind in terms of alternative or newer therapies, if you will, compared to Europe. So getting back to Mona Lisa, who's candidate for this? Um, very good question. Any, any condition that makes the vulva vaginal lower bladder, the vulva tissue more irritable, more dry, more um, sensitive, um, may be an appropriate candidate. And it's not just people who are perimenopausal or menopausal, um, but also women who are lactating, breastfeeding, and they have some vaginal dryness because of that. Um, and this is really, um, it's a no-brainer in my mind um, because of its safety profile. You know, uh, things that this can help treat is not just pain with sexual intercourse, but also chronic vulvitis, chronic irritation, chronic itching, burning, and even low grades of uh, incontinence, where the people feel like they have constant bladder infections, but they really don't. It's just the, the dryness that's causing that irritation. It's an excellent procedure. In fact, I've had a couple of people that have come in and have had this done just for the bladder symptoms even if they're not needing it for sexual activity. So I think that um, the, the indications have expanded as we have found out how beneficial it is to the surrounding areas uh, locally in the pelvis as well. Okay, doctor, bottom of the hour, time for the news. Thanks for joining us this morning on Health Matters with the Medicine Center of Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. 
Because the news never stops. Get the facts. And neither do we. 1480 WHBC and WHBC.com. Mercy Medical Center wants you to know we are here for you literally and virtually. For our patient safety, Mercy is providing virtual doctor appointments from the comfort of your home. This service is available for staff care, urgent care, seven days a week, and Mercy Primary Care Monday through Friday. See our website at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth for office and appointment hours. Mercy telehealth visits are simple, convenient, and can be used by anyone who has access to a smartphone, tablet, or computer our mercy representatives are ready and happy to assist you so whether you are in need of urgent care for minor illnesses and injuries or would like a one-on-one with a mercy primary care physician mercy is here for you mercy medical center telehealth appointments learn more at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth that's cantonmercy.org slash telehealth online appointments are considered medical services and will be billed to your insurance co-pays and deductibles apply Yes, we are open. We are open. The Medicine Center Pharmacies and the Half Off and Out by Store in Louisville are open. Some great services are still in play. Our drive through windows, curb service, and our enhanced delivery service. Our stores are fully inventoried and fully staffed for your convenience. 13 pharmacists to help you with your medications and over-the-counter products. So don't hesitate to visit us or use one of our services. Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, New Philadelphia, and Minerva. Special event at Studio Arts and Glass, September 11th and 12th. Fall Festival of Art combined with our annual tag sale outside in a tent featuring local artists, pottery, glass, and jewelry. Take a class and make a dried hydrangea wreath or a glass sunflower. Enjoy a corn dog and a candied apple. Fall Festival and tent sale at Studio Arts and Glass, September 11th and 12th, 9 to 8 p.m. on 77 and Apple Grove in North Canton. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. In these difficult times, Please stay calm and make sure your medical and healthcare supplies are well stocked. Have Kleenex, pain relievers, fever reducers such as Tylenol and cough syrup like Robitussin, Dayquil, cough drops, and maybe a humidifier. And make sure you take a good multivitamin like Linus Pauling Super Multivitamins. Also, you might get a good probiotic and make sure that you get plenty of rest and plenty of nutritious food. The Medicine Center Pharmacy in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia. Your severe weather station. News Talk 1480 WHBC. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, Paul White. We are back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Today, Brad and I are discussing bio-identical hormone therapy. We have Dr. Priya Rumaya with us from Total Women's Care. So what kind of success are your patients receiving from, from this Mona Lisa therapy? So, I, I, like, I like the name because it came from Mona Lisa. Obviously, it came from... I think it's very, very clever. Uh, very good choice. Um, so I've had probably about 80 to 90 percent success. Um, in treating not just uh, vulvovaginal atrophy and pain um, with intimacy, but also for chronic vulva conditions like lichen sclerosis, chronic vulvitis, um, low levels of incontinence, uh, some degree of even prolapse. Has this, you know, it just basically tightens all this tissue, so it really does provide a significant improvement. Um, there, it will not anatomically correct it, but it will make it less symptomatic. Mm-hmm. Um, my youngest patient was probably about 42 because um, she had had to have everything taken out for a medical reason. And my oldest, actually, I'm proud to, to report, is um, 83 years old and has had significant benefit and is very happy. Um, so it, all in all, I think um, we have to individualize and make sure that we're not missing other issues that are masquerading and those issues will not be corrected by Mona Lisa Touch. I think that's important. It's critically important to make sure you know what you're addressing and what you're treating. What about downside risks? Um, I think, like I mentioned, you know, it's important to figure out are there any contraindications. There are very few contraindications, but definitely I think uh, we offer a uh, new obligation-free consultation. and You don't have to 
change your gynecologist to come. You can come in for the procedure and we'll send all the reports back to your gynecologist or your primary care physician. Um, but I do want to make sure that we are treating the right condition. A couple of people came in and they actually had other issues that would not have helped them with the Mona Lisa. So I really want to make sure, stress that we educate and understand what we're treating and whether this will, will treat it or not. I think the biggest downside is that this is not covered by insurances, health insurances. Unfortunately, Cialis and Viagra are covered, but this is not, is not, and this is probably run another thing that we probably need to lobby about. But at this point, it's not covered. However, it can be utilized, uh, it can be um, paid under your HSA or flex plan, and so it can be t uh, conducted as a um, uh, pre-tax benefit. The other downside, I think, is the lookalikes. You know, we talked earlier about this being a medical procedure, not a plastic procedure. So there are a lot of other um, physicians in the area that are using or converting their flap aesthetic plastic surgery laser machines, converting it and using it for, for this, which does not last. And I think it's giving Mona Lisa Touch a bad rap because I have had patients come back and say, well, I had it done. It's not working. It's not good. Well, you didn't get the real deal. And that, I think, is another big downside. So basically, go to somebody that is doing Mona Lisa Touch. Do not use all the lookalikes that say they work, but they're not permanent. Um, and also go to somebody that has done this before. Ask them, how many have you done of this before? What is your success rate? What is your comfort level? And I think it's important to do for patients to do that due diligence and figure out, okay, who am I most comfortable with, what's going on, and then proceed with the procedure. I think it's a win-win and uh, literally a game changer. Well, would you say that the, 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 the laser uh, device for this uh, uh, treatment is unique uh, in structure, size, uh, I don't know, whatever. Definitely, definitely. It is one of a kind, and um, there may be other laser machines that are similar, but this one has been customized and made specifically for this to give you, to let you know this is not being used for anything else. It's not being used to like, tighten the face. It's not being used to do liposuction. This is a one-stop, just it's mainly it's only made for this one thing. I think that's where it has its edge. Yeah, interesting. So it might be a good time to ask this question. Based on what you just said a little bit ago, you can uh, patients that are interested in learning more can contact you directly at their at your office at Total Women's Care, or it sounds like you can get referrals from other OBGYNs. Definitely. Okay. Okay. And, um, you know, there's uh, information out there. YouTube, of course, Dr. Google, Dr. Yahoo. Just go and, uh, and Google Mona Lisa Touch. Or you're welcome to call my office, 330-452-9900. We can get you in for a free, no obligation, no pressure consultation. Because before I do this procedure, I need to make sure that you are going to get the benefit. You know, I don't want to just pull you off the street and do it without really being able to guarantee that, yeah, this is going to help you. Okay. Good to know. Um, how about this? What would you say are some exciting developments in your field? So for the longest time, we really didn't have anything after the forceps, after cesarean sections, uh, you know, safe anesthetic procedures, et cetera. Um, I think the two most uh, exciting things that I can think about in GYN is one, is, of course, is the Mona Lisa Touch, but also the Da Vinci robotic surgery, which is really revolutionized um, and brought forth um, newer minimally invasive surgeries where patients can return to their normal lifestyle very, very rapidly. So what are some of the benefits of robotic surgery compared to traditional surgery? The big thing is um, the downtime. It's so much reduced. Um, the, there is not the same degree of discomfort and and pain post-procedure. These, I'd say, are the two biggest uh, pluses. And, you know, I can, I can, uh, uh, I'm proof of this because I had, um, I had, I've had surgeries both ways. You know, I've had uh, laparotomy, which is the traditional cesarean section incision. And I've also had robotic surgery. And I have to say, there is a world of difference. Um, to give you an idea, after my robotic surgery, I was able to return to work 
within a week. And I rarely, I didn't, I don't recall even using any narcotic pain medication. So it was just revolutionary and totally mind blowing. So I stand behind you as proof of that. Where are we, going? Are where are we, going? Where are we going with robotic surgery? Is it, is it continuing to, to improve or, or, or advance? Or, or I don't know exactly how to answer this. But. So, yeah, that's a good question, um, Paul, because I think that um, with the advances in technology in terms of the, the computer robotics, in terms of the fiber optics with, and the cameras, uh, light sources and the camera pictures are, are improving so rapidly, even since the onset. So I've been doing robotic surgery since 2009. And even since then, we are on our third system of the robotics uh, machine because the company is, is, has been innovating, trying to improve their, their, um, their uh, ancillary, oh, yeah. as well as the instruments have also improved significantly. Where did this originally come from, robotic surgery? What country? So it, I think originally it was in Canada. And then it was brought into the U.S. Um, Intuitive Surgical is the company, and they are the uh, pioneers. Since then, there have been a couple of other companies that have tried to enter the market, but I think um, uh, Intuitive Surgical is head, head and shoulders above everybody else just because of the, the length of time that they've put in here. I know the robotic units are extremely expensive. And then I heard one of the hospitals was, was wishing for another one, and, and uh, it's just too much money. Uh, yes, this is true. Uh, unfortunately, um, the cost for the machine, the initial uh, cost for the machine is quite significant. But I think over the long term, um, hospitals will reap that benefit in the short, shortened um, post-op time um, and uh, the quicker recovery so we can get patients home uh, sooner. So I think that's where the benefit lies. Oh, how long did your training take to, to become a, a robotic surgeon, if you will? Good question. So this was back in 2008. Um, the, the company at that time was just starting out trying to, um, uh, to uh, train physicians. And the learning curve is a little bit steep, I have to admit. Um, and so we actually had a couple of days of um, a, an animal lab. So we went to this uh, animal lab and we actually worked on a uh, couple of animals trying to figure out how the system works, learning the physics behind it, and then also learning the uh, optics. So basically learning the background, the physics, uh, and then actually doing the procedure itself. So that was a couple of days. And then we had a series of didactics online where we went through a series of lectures and then there was actually um, certificate courses that we had to take in order to provide proof that we were trained. After that, we also had what are called proctors. So we picked patients, our own patients, of course, with full informed consent. And for, I think, about five or 10 cases, we had proctors that actually came from all over the country to, to watch us and to critique us to make sure that we were proficient enough before we got a full credentialing um, at the hospital. And after that, there's ongoing training as well, where you have to do a certain number of cases every year in order to maintain your proficiency. And so there's a lot of uh, checks and balances built in. Every hospital also has a QI committee, quality improvement, where we look at cases, we look at you know um, outliers, what's going on, how this is working, so we can try to police ourselves and and keep ourselves safe along with our patients. Break time, sir. Your health matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. Yes, we are open. We are open. The Medicine Center Pharmacies and the Half Off and Out by Store in Louisville are open. Some great services are still in play. Our drive through windows, curb service, and our enhanced delivery service. Our stores are fully inventoried and fully staffed for your convenience. 13 pharmacists to help you with your medications and over-the-counter products. 
So don't hesitate to visit us or use one of our services. Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, New Philadelphia, and Minerva. Is CBD oil right for you? That may seem like a simple question, but the answers don't come from a convenience food store or a mall kiosk. Your medicine center pharmacist is the most accessible healthcare professional. Our pharmacists have been trained to provide expert CBD oil information to tailor therapies like CBD capsules, tinctures, lotions, and ointments to your particular need. We have the highest quality, organic, Colorado-grown, non-GMO, full-spectrum CBD oil products. Visit the medicine center pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, or New Philadelphia. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. In these difficult days, please stay calm and make sure your medical and healthcare supplies are well stocked. Make sure you have Kleenex, acetaminophen or Tylenol, ibuprofen or Advil, Mucinex, Robitussin or Dayquil, cough drops, maybe even a humidifier or a vaporizer. You can also just turn the shower on hot and sit in the bathroom breathing in the steam. How about vitamin D and a probiotic? And a good multivitamin like Linus Pauling Super Multivitamins that you'll find only in the medicine center pharmacies. So take care of yourselves and don't stress about the coronavirus. Make sure you get plenty of rest and plenty of healthy food. The medicine center pharmacy, Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia. Are you tired of spending time sorting your medication? Hi, pharmacist Paul White for the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Whether you are a caregiver or personally take medications, our pill packets will change how you take your medication forever. Instead of multiple pill bottles, you'll want to receive one easy dispensing box that contains all of your medications in individual packets. Organized by date, time, with instructions clearly labeled, it's simple, convenient, and safe. Call or stop by your local Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia, where wellness begins. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, Paul White. Welcome back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. We're talking with Dr. Friar Ramaya from Total Women's Care. All right, doctor. We talked about a lot of stuff today. We talked about the Mona Lisa Touch. We've talked about bioidentical hormones. We've talked about alternative methods for women's health care. How do patients that are listening today get more information about you and your practice? There are a couple of different ways. Um, Actually, even if you, um, um, well, uh, let me give you my website. It's www.r for Robert, A, M for Mary, A, I, A, H for Harry, gyn.com, Ramaya gyn.com, and our office number is 330-452-9900. We have a bunch of wonderful girls, staff working for us that are part of our team, and um, I, I know that we uh, would welcome you as a, as a patient. However, I want you to know that you have options, you have choices, and an informed um, person is one that will get the best service and make sure you don't settle for somebody that just throws medicines at you, you know, somebody that listens to you, somebody that understands you, somebody that wants to help you in a way that's suitable for you. I think that would be the important thing. In this day and age, we don't have to settle. So if you are not, if your physician is not listening to you, then go find someone that is listening to you. Um, We do offer a lot of other services. Um, I think that we pride ourselves in providing uh, customized, compassionate, and comprehensive care. Uh, So, again, that number is 330-452-9900. And we welcome you as a patient or even if you wanted to come in for a consultation for the Mona Lisa Touch, you do not have to change your gynecologist at all. We were talking about how the COVID pandemic has really changed how people take care of their regular routine healthcare services. Can you touch on best practices for um, women in general on what they should be thinking about on an annual basis to make sure they're in the best of health? Surely, Brad. I think at the outset, one has to make sure that we are exercising um, precautions. Um, You know, COVID is here to stay. I do not think that we are ever going to have a time where we can be say, where we can say, oh, now we don't have to, we can drop our guard down. You know, social distancing, wearing a mask, appropriate um, hand hygiene. These, I think, uh, are the are the three very important things that we have to be vigilant about. Having said that, we cannot also allow COVID to hold us hostage and end up being uh, prisoners in our own homes. So I think we have to exercise precaution, but at the same time, we have to balance out and make sure that we are getting 
the appropriate care that we need. Oftentimes, we spend more time taking care of our cars better than we do our own bodies. And so I think that we have to be vigilant and know what needs to be done, what needs to be taken care of, what preventive maintenance is required for our body. So an annual physical with the GYN exam, I think is important uh, for every woman, as long as she is, um, she has her female organs, as long as she has a breast. Um, a lot of physicians, and you don't have to come to a gynecologist. If your internal medicine doctor, if your family physician is able to do this service, offer this service for you, I think that's perfectly fine as well. However, um, just as a gynecologist cannot take care of your heart, even though they know about the heart, the, the fine nuances are better off being taken care of by a cardiologist. Similarly, I do believe that the nuances of women's health is better addressed by a gynecologist. What's the current recommendations for mammograms and PAPs? Excellent question. The mammograms um, are recommended after the age of 40 annually. And there's some societies will say, uh, some medical societies will say no more after age 80. But I think that's an individual decision based on the person, what her lifestyle is, what is the quality of life, et cetera. But perhaps they have relaxed the rules and the earliest is age 21. Before it was age 18, now it's age 21. And then three to five years thereafter based on the risk profile. What are you most excited for on the horizon? I think what I'm really happy about is that women have so much power in their hands now. You know, you don't have to settle. You don't have to follow what your grandmother and your mother did. And I think women have to take matters into their own hands in order for them to live their best life, both physically as well as mentally and emotionally. And it's a great time for us to take matters into our own hands. Well, I do think we need to demand more of our healthcare practitioners. You know, I think it's important that you ask questions and and try to make sure that you're well informed. Like you said, there's a lot of information on Dr. Google, but you also have to understand that sometimes that information may be uh, tainted in a way that you need to trust but verify. So don't be afraid to ask your provider questions and and make sure you seek out multiple perspectives to get a, a nice depth of information. So how about you give your website and your phone number one more time before we wrap up the program? So the phone number is 330-452-9900, 330-452-9900. And our website is ramayagyn.com, R-A-M-A-I-A-H-G-Y-N.com. I I do want to thank you guys for your service to our community for so many years. And it's, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm privileged to be able to work with you both. And I know that when I turn to you for compounding medicines, I know that you're doing right by our patients. Thank you for your service. I appreciate that very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you again to our guest, Dr. Ramai, a gynecologist and robotic surgeon from Total Women's Care. We'd like to remind our listeners, if you suspect you have a medical issue, please contact your health care provider. Thanks to Mercy Medical Center, Studio Arts, and Blast, and of course, our technical producer, J.D. DeAnsel. As always, we thank Google Snatch for joining us on Health Matters with the Medicine Center Group. Have a healthy week, and we'll see you right here next Friday. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, your pharmacists, Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now at MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. Be sure to join us next Friday at this time for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Because the news never stops. Get the facts. And neither do we. 1480 WHBC and WHBC.com.